And hello YouTube, this is GS Mirror Smart, and I'm going to a brand new video for tutorials with GS. Today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to change your cursor icon and all the different cursor icons that your computer recognizes whenever you're about to type something, whether you're hovering over something, whether your system is loading something, or you're just moving your cursor around. There is a specific icon for each of these actions. I'm going to be showing you how to change this icon to your own preference through this website right here. Now this website I will have in the uh, description, it's rwdesigner.com slash gallery, uh, but you can just click, click the link in the description. And basically what you need to do is find a cursor you like here. I'm just gonna pick a random one uh, down over here, I guess these look pretty cool. Uh, Minecraft Diamond Edition cursors. Let's go ahead and say we wanna change our cursor to this, right? Uh, what I'm going to do is, you see, you can download the separate ones. If you just want to have, a, if you want to mix and match some of these, you can download from different sets. If you want the entire pack, though, all you got to do is click download here. And what will happen is this will be added to your downloads folder. And your downloads folder, and your downloads folder will be right here. You see Minecraft Diamond Edition 1, I already downloaded it before. But anyway, when you have your folder here, you can double click and enter it. And you'll see that here are all the files that you need. But right now they're in a zipped folder. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and right click this, extract all. And you can go ahead and set a location for this. I'm just going to set it in the... I'm gonna set it in my C drive. I'm just gonna create a new folder real quick. New, new cursor. And then I'm gonna select folder and then I will extract into there. And once it's extracted, we can go ahead and close this folder and you'll see now we have our new cursor folder here that has all the icons. You could have extracted this anywhere. I just put it in my C drive though because it's easy to find when you go through a bunch of folders. But the next step to do here is the next step you want to do is go ahead and go to the control panel. We don't need this anymore. Go ahead and go to your control panel here. You can search it in the start, in the start menu and the control panel will look like this. And you want to go to hardware and sound. Then you want to go to underneath devices and printers, go to mouse, and you'll see these options right here. I'm going to go over to pointers, and here, here you will have the uh, customize panel, and these this is what I have currently. I have the sort of Mac style um, cursor here, but if you want to change this, all you have to do is go to normal, and if you Go to your C drive again, which is where my folder is. If you've saved your folder somewhere else, it's obviously going to be somewhere else. But you go to new cursor and then go to here. You can change it and then you can just click the next one and you see the name. The name right here matches here, right? This is help select. So here it's help select and you can just change all these accordingly. And once you've done that, you can actually save it as a scheme. And then here you'll see that you basically have a set of schemes and mine's right here. So this is my cursor. I could go ahead and save the old scheme. For example, if I just do this real quick, I'm just going to do, well, may as well do all of them. But you just go down the list, make sure that you're matching the names up with the, the names in the folder here. But you don't need to do all these if you don't want to, especially if you don't use a uh, link select. We definitely want link select. Okay, that's fine. So now what you can do is you can go ahead and save as, and you could just type in Minecraft. And you'll see now you have it as part of your scheme. You can switch between this cursor, which is what I have now, and our Minecraft cursor. We click apply. You'll see that now we have a little Minecraft uh, cursor here. So that's basically that. And if you ever want to change it back, you can just go over here to schemes and go to my cursors, click apply. 
and you'll see that now we are back to uh, the old Mac one that I had previously. So pretty simple, pretty easy. Hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial and it was a little short and quick, but it was just a neat little trick that I found. I, I Sometimes I get people asking my videos, how do you get that cursor? Or, you know, I, I know some of my friends ask me uh, how I have a new black cursor. So I thought it'd be a great video to help people and show people how to uh, do this. And if you ever if you ever don't like your cursor anymore, you can just go ahead and delete the folder. Be aware that you need to keep the folder. You need to keep the folder where it is. For example, where you should be saving your folder, it's in Windows, Cursors, and then save it here. Here's where I have my cursor saved. This is the folder with the cursor I'm using now. Make sure that you keep your folder with your icons in the same location. So don't move it. If you're gonna save it to um, music, then you can't move it somewhere else or Windows would not recognize it. So the best place to save it is in Windows and then go to Cursors and just, just create a folder for yourself. Here I have my cursor. You can go ahead and create Minecraft cursor folder. And then it's the same thing. Just navigate to this folder and select the files. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Have any questions, comments, concerns, leave in the comments section below and I'll definitely respond to them. I have plenty of other tutorials on software programs, uh, Microsoft Windows programs, uh, Windows tutorials, all that cool stuff, all tech things if you're interested. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so. But I'll be back with more tutorials in the future. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching and I hope this video helped you out in any way. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, it'll really help me out. If you didn't like it, you can leave a comment as well, giving some feedback. If you have any other comments or questions, please leave them in the comments as well and I'll do my best to answer them. I usually respond to comments within 24 to 48 hours depending on your question and depending on how busy I am. I have plenty of other content on my channel about different software tutorials and how to videos. So if you're interested in that type of stuff, check it out. And if you like what you're seeing, you can subscribe too, really appreciate it. You can also check out my other channels and social media as shown on the screen right now. And with that, thank you so much everyone. And this is GS Smart, and I'll be back sooner than you think. Don't go anywhere.